course, we're going to be survival shooting tactics for armed confrontation. All right, and this is uh, this is an opportunity a lot of security officers don't get the uh, chance to participate in. So I guess you guys can feel free to. We're going to have five stages uh, of fire. All right, and each each uh, stage when we get to some of the drills there, we're going to give you a chance uh, to try it twice. First, we'll let you do it on your own. We we'll show you the mistakes that you made and try to correct you, and then get you going as far as uh, let you do it again. I hope you do some improvement. First thing would be marksmanship range. And on the marksmanship range, let's make sure your guns work. Make sure you can uh, unholster your gun properly, shoot and reholster. And make sure you got a, a groove pattern where we don't have any problem with your gun, or maybe it might be you. If it is, you can try to correct that. Next stage will be falling plate. All right, knocking down the metal plates. And that's to uh, show some uh, accuracy in, in, your, in, your, in your shooting. And also some drills and competition that we go against each other. You know, of course, time shooting back down the most place. And the less ammo spent. Because uh, you'll find some, some guys will go through the whole 18 rounds on their belt and won't knock down all five plates. You know, at, at this is a 21 feet. Might not sound like much, but wait till you get out there and try it. Then from there, we're going to go with called a bank robbery scene. So we're going to knock down the, the pepper popper targets. Uh, it's supposed to be like a super silhouette. and shoot. Now they have what we call the FBI crouch. And this was something they used a long time ago where they crouch down and shoot. Now your head only drops six inches. So you're not making a smaller target. And the theory behind that was if you get shot, you'll fall forward. What the fuck that mean? I don't know. Because I don't plan on getting shot. Hell no. Right? So falling forward ain't going to help me either. So if you extend both arms straight out in front of you, consider a sausage stand. A weaver stands, if you're in a boxing or a defensive type stand, Extend this arm out. Bring this arm under and grab. Now. Plates with the, about the size of somebody's head. You know, they're peeping over something. Yeah. Sir, you want to get from in front of the camera, sir? Something like that. So, when you shoot at these, you'll find out things that you're shooting at are a lot harder to hit. So that's when the accuracy is coming into play. And do, through all these drills, you're going to find out guys that can't revolver. You're going to be begging for automatic. <laughs> so how all right, so once you come out through the, the doorway from the outdoor scene, run and grab cover. Knock out these two guys before you can advance. All right, knock out here, knock down there. And you see the other guy way on the, in, in the rear there. You want to take cover from here? Now, if you can shoot him from there, fine. If you want to get up to the, to the window, quick feet, and shoot, that's fine too. All right? Make the two in the building from the mailbox also? If you can. That's, that's up to you. They don't have a choice, man. They're going to take you out. That's so up to you. you. Say, uh, all right, well, you don't advance if you don't take them two guys, guys out. You can't get over there, but they take, they're working. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Targets in there, good guys and bad guys. You gotta look before you shoot, but don't take too long because they might shoot you. All right, we'll take everybody through one at a time. Bring all the ammo that you plan to carry on the street, bring it with you. Any other extras, just leave it outside here. 
Uh, if you have to reload, remember. You want to come around. As soon as you see something, probably you'll see him before he sees you. Then All right. Don't do this again. And peek. Now, if he sees you, now you got to get in position to fire. And that's a lag time that might get you killed. So, you want to angle around, around the wall. The jungle wall. So what you got to do is walk through, stay on this side of the yellow tape, and knock down the metal targets as you advance. Okay, go ahead. Quality? Yeah. I can't walk it with my eye on the camera. I might trip over something.